Saturday, everyone. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> what was that? Our pool is getting closed up right now, which is exciting. That really signals the official start of fall in my book. Thank you, Mr. David and friends. Um, what kind of life update can I provide for you at this time? Well, um, school has been in session now for three weeks and it's been going really well. Uh, Nookie loves it. She wakes up every day eager to get the day going. Hey, Biddy. And she really seems to be having a great time with it. The thing that I have noticed though, actually, is a little more like nerves and apprehension, I don't know, that's coming through when she's got an activity where me and or Tyler are there watching, like gymnastics, for example. Um, ever since school has started, now when there's something where we are there, obviously school, we drop her off for three hours, we come back and get her. She has had zero problem, but when we're sitting there watching, like at gymnastics, she started to get like kind of scared, nervous, and, and teary, like, oh, I want to be with you now. And I don't really know what that's about. I feel like starting school, that was a huge change for her, just a monumental shift in her day-to-day -day life. And it seemed like it happened without her even blinking an eye. Like, it, I mean, even the first day it was like, bye mom, I'm cool with this. And I don't know if this seemingly like feeling of fear when she's doing these other things is like a way of that change somehow playing itself out. You know what I mean? It's like the thought that, okay, she's starting school now. Something's got to give. Something's going to be a little different. And it's like now if we go somewhere and mom and dad are available, she's going to try to cling to us. And maybe it's thinking, okay, I've done my thing at school. That was fine, but don't put me through any more stuff without you I don't know but yesterday she did that cheerleading camp and I tell you before it started she was getting all like wanting to sit by me on the bleachers like I want to go home and I thought like this is not the attitude you show me at all going to school and she was excited like days leading up to this like I want to go so I knew she wanted to be there um, and once she got involved and kind of like forgot about me being there, um, she was totally into it and playing and having a ball. But a few different times throughout, it was like this kind of weepy, I need mommy thing, which was really odd. I don't know if anybody else has any experience with this or has seen life changes with kids kind of play themselves out in this way. Clingy would probably be the best word. And the way I talked her out of that at first was just kind of like, sort of distraction and we looked around the gym and I didn't give a rip what any other parent was thinking there, but I was like, let's go look at the letters because she loves letters. And so let's look at the letters at the end of the court. And we were like jumping on them and she was just getting out of that mode, you know, and kind of forgetting about like, should I be nervous now that I'm doing this? But it's just odd because it's like in a situation where mom or dad is available, the nerves kick up in her again. But overall, she did get along great at that camp yesterday. And I think she made a few new little friends who weren't in her class. The preschool group was really small. And I think it was the first time they'd ever incorporated that young age of kids. So but the high school cheerleaders were great and they did a really good job with her, I thought. What are you doing, Bubba? I do. Are you cooking? I cooking. I see makeups. I see makeups. Yeah, Biddy and Mommy in Walmart this morning. Nugget wanted to play with Daddy and watch cartoons on Saturday morning. Can't say I blame her. Hmm. Is that fun? You can't escape the critters. That was great, Biddy. That was awesome. Well, folks, I just thought you should know that um, Calico Critters does make a makeup vanity. Baker! Happy Sunday to you, everyone. Um, I'm about to get going on a new review. I wanted to talk about my new Eco Tools um, 360 blend brushes. I think this is actually a really smart um, brush design for thicker consistency products. So I'm going to go ahead and get to it. Just got my video done. Um, still not a ton of daylight out there, but we're getting some. Really hoping that Nugget wakes up feeling better today. I mean, it was just so strange. She's been through this cold already and it's like, I don't know if she's come down with something new. If this is just this hay fever kind of thing. What's funny is that almost the exact 
same thing happened almost exactly one year ago. Um, she had kind of a cold that she'd come down with, and it's unusual, albeit short-lived, but, you know, fever. And I know hay fever runs in my family. My dad deals with that quite a bit. I think Pup does too, so maybe it has something to do with that. But I feel like we've had the two extremes lately. Either they're bouncing off the walls, going crazy, rambunctious, or now not feeling so well. But I'm hoping she gets some really good sleep and we'll see how it's going as the morning wears on. Also, you know a comment that really made my day a couple days ago, um, somebody told me that they started a gratitude journal because I had mentioned that and they said it has completely like had a huge effect on the way they live their daily life and I thought yay that's amazing like that makes me so happy I about want to cry thinking about that because this is what it's all about y'all. It's not really about all this stuff you know it's about feeling intense gratitude for what's in our lives and I just got done um, listening to the audiobook Wishes Fulfilled by Wayne Dyer. I think it spoke to me even deeper more profoundly probably than um, The Seed of the Soul which was the last one I listened to attaching some different um, biblical principles to the messages he's trying to convey and it makes a lot of sense to me. And Tyler has listened to it as well. Sometimes he finds himself on some long drives when he's working and um, I'm so glad he enjoyed it too. He says he's going to listen to it again because, you know, you do miss some things sometimes or you feel like you could you could definitely stand to hear it again. So I'm going to do that too. But wise, wise man that way and I really, really have enjoyed that. But the reason why I'm bringing that up is the person who talked about the gratitude journal had asked like, what else are you listening to what else are you doing and so that's what I've uh, just recently come away from and I turn that on pretty much exclusively in the mornings you know if I'm not shooting a like full face tutorial or just any little snippet of my morning that I'm up here not actively talking to my camera I'll turn that on and listen the big takeaway that I've gotten from it is simply you choose your thoughts the best visual I got on this was and I can't remember if this was in the book or another thing that I was listening to, but like picture your thoughts as a stock ticker, you know, going across on a newscast. And your thoughts are just constantly like floating through your mind and you feel like you have no control over them. But think about taking one thought off and okay, that wasn't so good. That's not really lifting me up. That's not making me feel happy or that's not accomplishing anything. Put it back or grab a new one. Visualize that change in what you're thinking if you feel like your mind is always running away with you and like just taking you in every direction you have no control. You do have control. But I think exercising that control has to become a real habit and I also love the points in this book um, that talk about like the five minutes or so before you fall asleep at night and the power that you give your subconscious mind you know whatever you feed it with in those five minutes before you nod off and instead of just replaying maybe the challenges the struggles the difficulties what did I do wrong how did this thing not work out you know instead of replaying all that right before you fall asleep think about gratitude use that time to be in that prayerful state of appreciation and love. Wayne speaks it all way better than I am, so don't take my word for any of this. It's all better coming from him. But yeah, I just wanted to share that. My arm's getting tired, so I'm gonna put the camera down now. Do you guys wanna know where my palettes live in my collection, where I store them? I sit right here, here's my ring light. I've created this little display of like golden and rose gold pretty palettes here in this little clear stand. And then I have this other case and I just feel like, you know, they're nice and handy right there. What I've done with the bottom part of this case, oops, I've put my, all my bare minerals stuff down here. Even my L'Oreal mineral spits in this. I got this from Ulta, by the way, I'll link to it below. But I love having all the bare mineral stuff together because generally speaking, like when I'm going in that direction, I like staying with those products. I put a few of my taller tube-like things over here. What I need to get going is a little more rhyme or reason to the top three drawers here that I just have some kind of I don't know newish things or frequently reached for things but I'd like more of a constant theme. The thing is I don't feel like I can fit a lot of like big skincare bottles in there so what would be good here maybe I don't know I've got a really really super shallow drawer that just has a snippet of some newish eye products in there and I want to put other things there and yes these drawers do fully pull out from the unit like them a lot good stuff this is the current book obsession everyone it's goodnight goon it's a take on goodnight moon only with a goon meanwhile this is a very sweet book about being selfless and helping your friends corduroy Nugget's feeling better, by the way, so maybe it was a hay fever situation, I don't know. What do we got going on in here? Balloons. <clears throat> Party? <laughs> Not anymore, but we do have some boxes and a spot just for you. I pre, um, just kind of cut open the tops on some of these since it's nap time. 
and uh, I thought it'd be quieter than tearing into a bunch of boxes. That's a good point. Normally we do this, <laughs> there's just chaos around us. background noise. I know, I'll be able to pick up your voice really clearly. What do you see there? Oh, is there yeah. hair on me? Oh, this is an, this is an unbagging. This little tote, even as a crop tee and sweatshirt. That's a Maybelline. Um. I'm not gonna put that on. Um. <laughs> hey, you've been keto for weeks. We, you I'm can not, handle a crop top. I'm not, I'm not going there. You're gonna have to get a few drinks in me first. Okay. Just, I'm just not there yet. All right. Maybe all right. someday I'll get there. So in all that, there is an actual makeup product that was delivered. A little yes. satchel. Oh, well, that makes more sense. The City Mini Palettes. Several different color schemes. You got a very green, with olives and greens and mm -hmm. such. Some blues and purples and silvers, and then some more earth tones. These look kind of taped up, so I'm gonna save my swatching for some other products. I don't think it'd add a lot of value. Nice little bit, cow. I'm expecting that. Good Lord. find your toe match. This thing's heavy, too. Oh my. Oh, look at that. This is the True Match Super Blendable Makeup. What is it? Foundation? Yeah, I think it's foundation. Got some sunscreen in it. And then you got concealers also. I think we probably need to figure out what my True Match is. Is there some sort of chart? 45 True to You shades. This is, that's overwhelming. I just wanted to show you guys what Bub did here in the bathroom. We had a basically empty toilet paper roll. Yes, I'm gesturing with my Tootsie Pop. And then he put the uh, fresh roll, just, you know, stick it on top. Don't bother yourself to take off the old one. Just, just sit the new one on top. I guess I should be glad a new one is even present in here. You couldn't be bothered to take the old toilet paper tube off and put the new one on. Well, I figured I'd do that the next time I was in there while I was actually sitting on the toilet. It saves more time that way, okay. multitasking. Okay. <laughs> Are you taking your vitamins? Yes. This is Bub, how can you tell we're short on vlog? <laughs> <laughs> Just find any random thing. Tyler's taking his vitamins. <laughs> For the record, I was doing a hot piece on toilet paper That's there true. when I happened to catch you taking your vitamins. Mm. Check this out. I'm having coffee in the afternoon. Why? Scandalous. I feel a little tired. I've stopped drinking any type of soda or energy drink. Has it been two weeks? It's been about two weeks now. So I was probably having a lot more caffeine than I should have, but now I hardly have any because I basically just have a cup of coffee in the morning. I do take some green tea extract pills sometimes. Mm. So, so those do have some caffeine. Mm -hmm. Now it comes out. I'd just like to point out that um, I got a Tootsie Pop. It's the chocolate flavor. It's missing the Tootsie. I'm gonna move on with my day. Give Tootsie Pop the benefit of the doubt. Most of the time there is Tootsie in the Pop, so. Moving on. Battery all charged up? Yeah, I think so. All right, so we're gonna, I'm gonna try alabaster. Looks right, just feels right. What do you think? I can't tell. Feels real smooth. Yeah, it's it's not a ton of coverage, but it's a good shade. I'm definitely not a C1.5, so. It's my understanding that this product has been out um, for a while, so. I'm not sure what's going on, re-promoting it, rebranding it. Um, but maybe they've just got more shades. I don't know. Oh, and there's a concealer, so but just throw it all out together. Mm -hmm. But there are not as many shades of concealer. Right here, Too Faced. Be Original. Be You. Clover Collection. Inspired by Jared and Jamie's, Jeremy's Fur Baby. They're going to be donating $150,000 to Best Friends Animal Society. Make the world a kinder place for the animals. So here we've got uh, all of the rescue cats. And used to have, this is probably around college years. Oh, look at that little guy. Heart. Is that a narwhal? Narwhal? Narwhal. They're, they're not narwhals, they're just narwhals. And then there's the little puppy, there's a panda bear. Biddy's been all about panda bears lately. The other dog that's kind of like splayed out. <laughs> Hello. 
Mm. You can look in the mirror there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm. It's lip balm. Lip balm. <laughs> Not lipstick. It's Not lip lipstick. Balm. Lip balm. Anybody seen Peter Rabbit out there? Because I have seen it um, approximately 700 times now. Ooh, that's cute. Got all kinds of. Oh, look at that. Is that not the cutest? <gasps> nice little wheel of colors. Bad to the bone. Bow wow. <laughs> heavy petting. Puppy nose. That might be heavy petting. That's snuggle time. That's vanity fur. That's just that little puppy. Are you trying to look cute and innocent? I can get an actual lipstick ring on my coffee for the first time. You might, you might not, if it's dried down already. Mm. Yeah, a little bit. That'll probably stay on your lips a while until you oh, purposely yeah. take it off. I'll make sure I wash my lips. Plush it real good. Plush it real good. That's in the liner. Wow. That's a cool concept. Kind of interesting. Em talked about one of these shades in a video not too long ago. She paid for it herself. Is it, you dip it in something, or is it eventually it'll, as you rub on it, it'll... Oh, okay, there's a thing under there. Okay, so you twist it. Eventually stuff comes out. How many times are you going to twist this bad boy? How oh, many times do I have to twist? Oh, I heard something. There you go. Hold up. I don't like a marker. I don't like a felt tip marker. Eh. Kind of sheer. Makes me wonder, like, the longevity of one of these, like they dry out over time. No transfer on that one. Talent needs his coffee. All right, so what we've got here are some Killer Curves mascaras and uh, some Brow Last long wearing brow gel. There's a bunch of them in here. I guess they're all different, slightly different colors. Okay, so you got blonde. That's me. I'm going to try the brows out. A little known fact about me is I do uh, style my brows every day. That's not true. So no one knows for sure, though. Getting ready with me. <gasps> Get ready with Bob, yes! What is this, Bob? I can't, I haven't really, you haven't okay. really shown the product. Alright, so yeah. this is a it's brow last. Oh, that's that like semi-permanent like. No. I, never mind. No. <laughs> No. Did you read the claims? No. I just know Maybelline makes something like that and it lasts like Shape a really fill long time. for natural looking brows, long wearing, fiber infused formula, water resistant and smudge proof. You'll be okay. Here, why don't I do it? Can I do it for you? First I'm going to brush its brow hair up a little bit out of his eyes. I always like to do that, you know, back when we were kids. <laughs> you don't have to close your eyes during this process. Yeah. <laughs> so last night, um, I introduced him to the LSU coach, Ed Ogeron. Not literally, like, not, not I mean, in person, you told me about but, who he was. Yeah, I told her about him, and so we watched probably a solid hour's worth of just clips of his interviews and stuff. He's Cajun, and he's awesome. Yeah, it kind of talks like the uh, the character in The Water Boy, the coach that nobody can understand, but slightly more understandable. What do you think? Or, or here. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look like I did much. Doesn't look like you did much. It My lips look freaking ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it feels like maybe the texture of what you might think a mascara cream feels like, and I mm. just took it through with the little brush, and it seems like the blonde color of it is pretty on point, although I wonder if you could, couldn't have gone just a little darker. Yeah. That's why it maybe looks so subtle. But then I used the brush mm. to, um, like, kind of rake it through and get an even application. Last one! <laughs> oh, it's from Sigma. Brush up on awareness. Oh, this isn't even available yet. Man, we're really getting in on the ground. When is it available, then? October 1st. I assume this is for breast cancer. Oh, there it is. Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Mm -hmm. Look at those. Those are cool. Got a nice little glittery satchel to go with them. You got a tapering blending, a blending, and an eye shading brush. Just stick with the tapering blending brush because it's already in my hand. How do you do How do you see what you're doing? Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, now try to put that on your eyelid. It's not working. I don't understand. This feels so freaking weird. Oh my god. Uh. You, much like your younger sisters, have a good amount of lid space there. Mm -hmm. That one's 
harder because I feel like my hand is more in my way. Like from the side or something? Mm -hmm. Notice how you just get pushed further and further every time. Like he did that in one single stroke. This is going to come off as a shock, but I've not practiced this. Is that better? I think it really brings out the blue in your eyes. Thoughts on the brush set? Best I've ever used. That's the tapered blending brush. I love that. Uh, so that's the blending and that's the eye shading. Yeah, eye shading. Thanks, bud. Look at this cute little farm market. Okay, gang, that was adorable, and I came out with an apple cider slushy. Uh, the place was packed. Bub and I were just saying, like, we couldn't believe how many people were in there. It's this adorable little farm store. I mean, it's an, it's an actual orchard there, by the way. They had shown on their Instagram the other day that they had um, jugs of apple cider and apple cider donuts. So those were kind of the two things that I went hoping to find, but they were sold out. They did have the apple cider slushies, which taste incredible. And we got these little guys for the girls, no sugar added apple cider, amazing. They got a couple little toys and um, we got some apple salsa and some like cinnamon popcorn stuff that they make in house there. So it's nice to support a local business and do something a little bit different.